Today is the 14th of the 3rd, 2020, and this is the ongoing um, update and uploads about the vendetta that's been perpetrated. Um, the issues that I'm going to be sharing about today vary. The first topic that I'm going to be discussing about is uh, the issue of my victim impact statement that the authorities are aware of and that the politicians are also aware of. Um, there's been many good initiatives uh, by the government of Ireland um, in the past few years that have been quite helpful to the creative arts and such initiatives. And there's other great initiatives for uh, women's rights like he for she and all of that, you know, gender equality, etc. Um, that's um, part of the issue that I want to discuss in these uploads basically as a victim of individuals that the authorities and politicians are fully aware of and that have been aware of the stalking and violations, offences and um, impos imposter um, syndrome that these people are suffering from. Um, the issue of, of identity theft is pretty serious and um, as I've mentioned, um, this individual living on her own as a deserted wife of a property owner and that has been experiencing nearly over 20 offences, even more offences that the Ombudsman have been made aware of um, without the advocacy or supports or services that I'm entitled to. Um, now as I've mentioned there's been technological um, violations as well. I work off a simple little modem and a simple little phone and the iPad that I'm uploading to. So um, basically these individuals are so creative that they have fabricated an entirely um, deceptive um, version of uh, what has been occurring and they have uh, perpetrated identity theft and financial theft. The very serious aspect of all of this is that authorities are aware of all of this situation. I have been um, scapegoated into a situation from my marital marital home, my family home, and now uh, public accommodation. Um, as a teacher with qualifications from Hibernia and the University of Limerick and other agencies and establishments uh, from my experience as an online uh, student, um, the violations and offences being perpetrated against me are intentional, not only to uh, conceal the reality of what has been occurring um, in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland, uh, with regards to the very, very, very sinister uh, children's rights violations and human rights violations. Authorities have done nothing. They have done absolutely nothing to protect and safeguard the innocent in society. And um, this is even more serious as the um, agencies that are aware of these culprits that have been violating my privacy, that have been falsifying information, that have been violating my technological data, that have been trying to um, gain a bit of notoriety for being such good people, for such worthy causes, while yet uh, perpetrating these very dangerous offences against a law-abiding citizen and mother and deserted wife of a property owner. So this is what's happening and um, this is very serious for the authorities to be ignoring, especially with regards to the spiritual violations that have been perpetrated against the Royal Angelic and as well as the positive, the positive, very positive contributions that I've been making to society as a victim and survivor of other people's um, issues. So um, basically the society community that um, I'm born and bred from um, is after going through a little bit of a transformation in an attempt to um, conceal the um, truth of the sordid behavior of these guilty culprits. Um, the aspect of spirituality is something though that can't be concealed. Um, the exploitation of my spiritual gifts has been for um, the agencies and individuals that are basically undermining and isolating and ostracizing an individual that they have stolen and damaged, stolen from and damaged. Um, 
as I've shown, there's my qualifications from Hibernia and the University of Limerick. Um, I receive 200 euro per week. Um, these people have financially exploited a situation and prospered from that situation um, with the falsification of facts. They have damaged a light body and the um, very sinister aspect of all of this is that they have also continued in their offences. They have continued to violate privacy and as a victim that has um, been at the receiving end of these people's offences that the government and the guards are fully aware of the fact that there hasn't been the protection provided to my family and I uh, from these individuals with regards to their retaliatory actions is um, just a, <laughs> it's a sad sign of the times to say the least. Um, so basically the victim impact statement I sent in to the relevant uh, authorities have ignored the issues. They have facilitated the individuals that have perpetrated identity theft, financial theft, property theft and spiritual theft. So um, as I showed in a short upload there of about four minutes, um, that will just show you the extent of the spiritual gifts that were stolen and damaged from me as a light worker. Um, the main issue is that these people have not only imposed and violated my privacy, they've literally harassed me from my marital home, my family home, and um, they are continuing in their stalking efforts to cause more retaliatory efforts to denigrate and undermine an individual that they owe a very huge substantial amount of compensation to. Um, the lies and falsehoods in all of this are absolutely horrendous and that the government of Ireland is facilitating this, even from a, an ethical and moral perspective, but from a spiritual perspective, that these people have um, gained so much insight from, um, and so much, uh, you know, what would we say, abundance from, uh, due to the damage they did to me, is um, absolutely horrendous. So these people that have been stalking, harassing and violating um, are obviously being safeguarded by authorities while a person here experiencing financial abuse and defamation etc is um, basically you know it's like a free-for-all so it's scandalous and as a qualified teacher who's uh, been experiencing medical incompetence um, this is another very serious aspect so um, these issues of financial abuse have involved uh, the falsification and false information with regards to my personal affairs. These people have had no shame about what they have been doing. They have no concept or any um, understanding of the seriousness of what they've uh, perpetrated and they are still causing more offences. So as a whistleblower, this is what's happening in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland. Over 20 offences perpetrated against me since I gave birth and got married. And um, the authorities and the politicians have done absolutely nothing. Um, for tr social uh, trendsetters and social influencers to be facilitated in a vendetta that involves uh, spiritual identity, spiritual gifts and such uh, that have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, the government have perpetrated the worst um, offence by ignoring um, my victim impact statement and my complaints to the ombudsman. So um, that's as much as I'll say in this upload, basically, uh, as a victim of these individuals that have violated so severely and that are perpetrating further offences, um, the authorities and the government um, are fully aware and have facilitated this in Trilly County, Kerry, Ireland. And as an initiative of Ireland, um, it's a very sad sign of the times.